Welcome back guys. I've had some requests to do an update on status or SNT coin and I do believe that it um, does need to be uh, looked at because if we look at the charts we are closing in on a possible breakout or a pullback and there's only a couple of things that's going to determine which one of those happens. So in this video I'm going to take a look at the chart for you guys. We're going to briefly take a look at status um, networks website also because the use case they have going I do believe is very interesting. Um, so I think it has potential. If this is interesting to you, if you're an SNT coin holder, then you might want to hit that like button so more SNT holder, holders can um, check this video out. But definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new. Join us on our cryptocurrency journey, and we will jump straight into the video. All right, guys. So looking at SNT coin currently, trading at seven cents, down a little bit right now, and uh, status. Or ST coin is actually not new to the game, guys. Um, just because we've been seeing some recently, seeing some gains and putting it on the map again, it's been around since pre 2017. So since pre, uh, since the previous bull run, it's been around for a long time. It flatlined out for quite a while, and then got a nice pump here in 2021, and then kind of flatlined again. And we could be on the verge of a possible another run similar to these runs. So what we're going to do is jump on into it. But first, I would like to just take a look at their website because they're Use case here is pretty interesting. A secure messaging app, a crypto wallet, and Web3 browser all built with state-of-the-art technology integrated into one app. So this is pretty cool because a secure messaging app to me is very interesting. Um, getting involved with the blockchain and, and using the blockchain as a way to communicate with one another um, in a decentralized way versus going through centralized applications, centralized messaging services. Right. This is very key to a decentral, uh, decentralized future, a, a use case like this and message browse transact on your own terms. So you can you can communicate with people, communicate with your friends and family through this, as well as transact with them, send them crypto through this. Um, not only that, but you have access to a Web3 browser where you can um, access uh, DeFi and other things that are only av available on a Web3 browser like this. And it's a decentralized Web3 browser, so it's not like you're going through, say, um, other other browsers such as um, Opera or you know some mobile browsers that offer Web3 access but still are a centralized application, right? Um, so this is very cool as long as it is completely decentralized and um, you know can fulfill this mission that they have. Like I said, they're not new to the game, and seeing a a long-term project like this that is still in the spotlight to this day. Um, considering that it's it's been through the bull run, it's been through bear market cycles and still holding um, holding some strength here. Market cap currently at two hundred and sixty one million four hundred and ninety two thousand dollars. So it's pretty decent market cap here and use case has potential. So let's take a look at the S&T coin chart and take a look at what's happening, because if you have watched my previous status network or S&T coin video, then, you know, we were looking at this pattern here, this sort of asymmetrical triangle, which is basically a textbook perfect asymmetrical triangle pattern. I love it when the uh, trend lines line up, when the wicks and the touches line up like this. You have exactly three touches on the top. You have exactly three to four touches on the bottom on the weekly, guys, on the weekly time frame. This is so a textbook perfect asymmetrical triangle pattern. And what you have happening now currently, guys, is resistance at the downtrend so you know that on my previous video i put this measured move in here with a very bullish target for s t coin and this target is still going to be in play guys but what i'm going to talk about here is the possibility of this pullback happening and what we need to do is just go on down to the four hour time frame here to take a look at what's happening so if we drop it to the four hour time frame and let's go back and make sure that all this is lining up pretty good here and it does seem to be lining up if we take a look at the four hour, you can see what's happening. We are holding resistance below the downtrend. Now we had a fake out here. We tried to get above it, but we got rejected. So this downtrend resistance is proving to be pretty significant here. And you can see that currently on this candle, I have this ribbon indicator in here. Let me turn that off real quick so you can see the candles for what they are and so that they're not all green, right? Um, you can see what's happening though. The ribbon is, is important because it gives you an, a range here on your EMA 
to take a look at. Sometimes you might bounce at the top of this ribbon, and it also is a very good indication of whether or not you're going to see more upside or downside. But we'll leave that off for just a second to get an idea of what's happening. So basically, you are trending at this resistance point and currently holding resistance here. So what could happen next with S&T coin will depend on basically this support here holding. On the four hour time frame, you do have support here at about where you're at currently, uh, minus the little bit of wicks there, but that is some very significant support. Now, if this support manages to hold, you could reverse here. You could almost even speculate this as a very choppy, but potential um, inverse head and shoulders. Although, it, like I said, it is very choppy, but you could almost speculate that if this support right here holds. Now, if that support breaks, you have your EMA coming up at about seven cents right here, which could give you a bounce off of that. That has been seeming to hold support pretty nicely so far. If that breaks, guys, then it's likely you are going to come on back down and test your 200 EMA down around six cents and testing that previous support back here. If that does not hold, guys, then it's likely that we could even see the pullback come all the way back down to test the support level. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything very bad. Obviously, that's pretty bearish. But even if that happens, we can still bounce on our support and get that confirmed breakout. But until that breakout happens, I would be cautious here with this because we could still see that pullback that I'm mentioning. But it could be a very short-lived pullback. As I mentioned, there are support levels that we could bounce at. Each one of these EMAs could create a bounce that could push the price up to get a confirmed breakout of your downtrend. And once that confirmed breakout happens, I would be looking at our resistance levels and our target. And if we look at it on the daily time frame, all that is still in play. And this could even potentially play out as a cup and handle, actually, guys. Let's take a look at that also real quick. But what I'm looking at is this downtrend here for resistance. We have that purple box in there, and that's in between about 19 and 25 cents. So about 20 to 25 cents or so is looking like definitely major resistance. And then our target gets us up to around the 75 cent range, guys. 75 cents for status. Is still in play, but that mainly depends on how this breakout goes and if this resistance um, is rejected or not. So what we're going to do next, though, is look at this as a possible cup and handle, because really, if we look at it on the weekly, it's kind of looking like it could play out as a cup and handle. We have the cup here. This would be our cup, a massive cup at that. This would be your cup. And this is the handle trying to form here. And the breakout of this pattern would definitely cause that handle to form. So let's take a look at what that measured move of this as a potential cup and handle would be. And what we're going to do is just bring it from the bottom here to the top. I won't include that wick there, but I'll start right here at the bottom of the support to the top of this cup, potential cup and handle here. And our breakout points most likely going to be my target um, level for this resistance for this downtrend. Most likely, let me straighten that up a little bit because that is not very straight. Let me straighten that up. Okay. Now, that's most likely going to be your breakout point is going to be this um, resistance here from this downtrend and also where you get your handle to form to your cup. And then that's going to be your breakout point right here. So your breakout point is right there at my resistance level of 20 to 25 cents. If that resistance gets broken here, we could see a possible cup and handle form. And that would get you a nice target of $10. Okay. This would be longer term. This is on the weekly time frame. Keep that in mind. This is not going to happen overnight or even within the next month. But on the longer term scheme of things, a $10 S&T coin with its use case. Keep in mind, the use case is pretty significant in this one, right? Um, we have many other tokens that do massive moves that don't even have as significant of a utility as this, right? So with that being said, trading at $0.07, cents, $10 seems a little bit outrageous. $10 seems a little bit crazy, right? But not impossible. Not at all impossible, okay? When you take a look at the long-term chart here, you can see that its all-time high was actually $0.67. Cents. Um, its previous all-time high was $0.67, cents, guys. So if it breaks that $0.67 cent barrier, it would be nothing for it to go up and pass, you know, a dollar, $2 or so. So right now, we're just sort of still at the bottom. When you look at the longer term of this, you're definitely still at the bottom here. You are, you, even with this recent breakout, you're nowhere near an actual major breakout. Not yet. But you're definitely closing in on the potential for one. 
So with that being said, for S&T coin, we have our resistance levels to look at, right? Um, we have the support level to look at. I've mentioned the support level being down here around five, six cents. Resistance levels being around 20 to 25 cents in the shorter term. Um, one other thing that I am noticing that you should definitely look at is where we're at currently. Let me just point this out. This previous support here, we're trying to catch a little resistance there. That's also previous support right here, trying to catch a little resistance here. So not only is that um, confluence with this downtrend, but also confluence with the previous price action and the support levels that have to be retested and broken before you can go any higher. But we also have the resistance here to point out at about 12 cents. I did mention that though at 10 cents, 10 to 12 cents here um, being resistance for sure. And our targets, we have our targets here. So we know that if this resistance and this major longer term downtrend is broken, we could expect the target to be reached of about 75 cents. And if this does turn out to play out like a cup and handle, we could expect over the longer term scheme of things, a $10 S&T coin potentially. As always, not financial advice or investment advice. Invest, trade, hodl at your own risk, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this update on S&T coin. Don't forget to check out our project, AJC token, utility, rewards, burns, merch, and more. Check it out. Roadmap recently released. The Average to Savage Roadmap is available. You can come here, check it out in a brief description or click anywhere on this image to take you to AJCSwap.com where you can learn more about the AJC token project. Thanks for watching again. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one.